All right, so we've finished up pretty much all of Smoke on the Water now. Um, now it's just a matter of practicing it. Ah, right? So, hang on one second. Um, so, what I want you to do with this video is practice all the different parts to, um, to smoke on the water. So, let's look at all three of the parts, okay? So, the first part here is the part that we worked on last week and that there's another video on. So, if you can find that one, you know, as that could only help. So, um, we have the riff starts here playing five and five, the fifth fret of the fifth string, the A string, and the uh, fourth string, the D string. Then you move that up to the eighth fret, and then up to the tenth fret, back to the fifth, eighth, eleventh, tenth, fifth, eighth, tenth, eighth, fifth. Okay, so that's the whole, that's the main riff. That's the riff you play the most in the song. I'm trying to avoid that glare. Ooh. Um, so, once again, five, eight, ten. Five, eight, eleven, ten. Five, eight, ten, eight, five. Okay? Now notice that I'm just using one finger and I'm moving it up and down the strings, okay? So try that, okay? Try to try to just move one finger up and down. I know you were using your middle finger a lot. Try maybe your middle finger, or your index finger rather, this week. Okay. Um, so now we have the B section, and you've got the papers for this. Um, but let's look at it anyway, shall we? So it's going to start on some. It's gonna, there's going to be a bunch of power chords, and the first one, and the first one. Hang on one second, please. And the first one is going to be. Um, the C5 power chord, okay? And we're going to play that by playing the 3rd fret of the 5th string, the A string, with our index finger. Reaching up here, playing the 5th fret of the 4th string, the D string, with our ring finger, and the 5th fret of the 3rd string, or the G string, with our pinky finger. And then in our right hand, we're only going to pick those 3 strings. We're not going to hit the 6th string, the 2nd string, or the 1st string. None of these, none of these strings are going to get hit. It's just these five, four, and third strings. Okay? So we're going to play that there. And then we're going to move that chord down to the fourth fret of the sixth string. So it's just right there. Same exact shape, but now we're playing four, six, and six. Okay? So that's, so from here, three, five, five, to four, six, six. Okay? You're just moving it down a string and up a fret. No big deal. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to hit you're going to hit just those three strings, but now it's going to be six, five, and four. Okay? So together that was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Now we're gonna, we've got another little riff, but it's kind of the same thing, uh, where we play five and five on the fifth and fourth strings, respectively. And we go five, eight, five, eight. Five, three, five. So same, same kind of thing where we're just moving our index finger around. Five, eight, five, eight, five, three, five. And then we do it again. Five, eight, five, eight, five, three. But then we end there. We don't go back up to the five the second time. Then we go back. We play that C five power chord again. Three, five, and five. And then we go down to A flat. Four, six, six. And that's the end of the B section. Then we go back, then that would take us back to the main part, the, the 5, 8, 10, 5, 8, 11, 10, okay? So all together, let's look at the B section. Can you hang on one second? No, I'm just going to turn that down. Um, so here goes, here goes the B section. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, it's 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 3, 5, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 5 3. Then back to the C power chord here, the 3, 5, 5. Then A flat, 4, 6, 6. Okay? And then it would go back to the main riff, as I said. 5, 8, 10, 5, 8, 11, 10, that thing. Okay? 
And the last part we learned today was the um, was what we're calling the C section of the song. Okay, and that's this part's real easy um, for our left hand because we just stay on a G power chord now, a G five, where we're playing three five five. But now we're starting on the sixth string instead of like the C. We started on the fifth string. Now we're starting on the sixth string. Okay, so it's third fret, fifth, sixth string. Fifth fret, fifth string, fourth uh, fourth string, fifth fret. I said that kind of funny, didn't I? Fifth fret, fourth string, rather. Same exact thing, just backwards. I guess I said it. Uh, and on this one, we're going to hit six, five, and four. Okay. So, but the trick is, now we're going to be playing that those fret those the, this chord, but we're going to pick the sixth string on its own, then the fifth string on its own, and then we're going to strum. So. So those, that's, that's, those are the two new parts that we learned, as well as a little bit about the form, how we move from one section to the next. And, um, and yeah, so what I want you to do is I want you to practice all these parts, because once we get this together, then we can start playing the song and getting it up to speed and, you know, making it sound like the, the recording, okay? All right, so practice that stuff.